Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Eternal Torment. And today, uh, I'm very excited, super excited, super positive for this one. And you may be wondering, what are we forming today? We're forming East Africa. What? I know, it sounds amazing. And guess what? To play East Africa, you either have to play Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, or Burundi. Don't those all sound like amazingly fun countries to play? Alright, jokes aside, um, uh, I'm, like, very sad I that I even have to make this video, honestly. But it's, it, it's, it's for the series. It's, it's for the series. Alright, well, I guess in these countries, Tanzania is the biggest one, right? I think. That's also the reason I have Road to 56 today, is because I'm not playing that shit with the default Hoi4 Vanilla focus tree. I'm not doing that shit. I know the Road to 56 default focus tree isn't much better. I, I'd say it's less torturous, though, definitely. So I guess like, we have to play the UK, right? And we have to release ourselves and we cannot release it because we have to go into our decal all right we're doing it the old-fashioned way that's right we're gonna cheat all right well tanatuva is not what i was thinking when i did tan is it tzn or something i'm actually a genius all right we're off to a really good start with a whopping zero factories okay so from what i can tell all i have to control is this parcel of land that one of the major powers of the world owns so that's that's the problem here so what i'm thinking for my strategy this game is i go fascist i draw Join the Axis, and then I pair drop France, and then I kill the UK. Yeah? Does that sound good? That's like the best thing I can think of right now. It's really good that our leader is a smooth-talking con man. That's always a good sign. That's a badass name too. Justinian Mohammed. Well, I don't think the Austrian painter country is staying fascist, unfortunately. Alright, nationalism unlocked. Alright, now let's begin actually having factories here. Renewal of the Rome Protocols. Perhaps good things may come of this. Event ID, news point 312. Debug event scopes. Yep, I agree. Alright, let's get some military factories in the country. Because see, to create weapons for my troops, I actually need factories. I know, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of groundbreaking. Wow, we finally got a division. Oh yeah, I forgot. Generals don't exist because we're Tanzania. True. I guess I'll promote this random field guy. Alright, we finally have civilian factories. We can finally build military factories at a snail's pace. Kenya was probably the better choice because they have more states. I should have probably picked Kenya. They actually have provinces to build shit in. If things go wrong as Tanzania, I'm trying against Kenya. All right, let's open up for political discourse, which is code for become fascist. All right, let's hold a national referendum. All right, now we are, what are we? The Sultanate of, the Sultanate of Tanganyika. Perfect. And now we have, <laughs> Is that our general? They had different last names, but they're twins. They were separated at birth. And now I think we can join the Italian. They're not the, what do you mean Italy's not the leader of the Pact of Rome? It's named after their, who is it? Is this Hungary? And of course, since they're not fascist, we can't join yet. God damn it. Wow, now we have a fourth research slot. How revolutionary. Uh, let's do militarism because I have no recruitable population right now. I bet Kenya probably has a bigger like core population than me, but I was like, oh, big country better. So I picked Tanzania. All right, now we have our pair droppers ready. Now we just have to join the Pact of Rome, which Italy still hasn't taken over why aren't they taking it over i'm not gonna be able to join them at this rate and then france is gonna get rid of disjointed government and then i'm gonna cry wait oh no oh they got rid Ugh. all right we're resetting we're resetting i don't care why is it that every time i play in africa i just experience th the most pain i've ever experienced in my life all right well this is not a good sign. All right, this time we're playing Kenya. Why? Because frick you, that's why. All right, we're playing as Kenya this time. Same game plan. We're going fascist. ASAP. Actually, we start with one factory this time. A civilian. Wow. And look at all these templates. We start with a tank template? What? Damn, Kenya's better than Tanzania. I'm gonna redo my African nation tier list real quick. The state of Paraguay declared war on El Estado Revolucionario de Paraguay. Wow. My Spanish is amazing. I know. You don't have to tell me in the comments. Okay, I think I figured out why there was like the debug thing on the events. It's because I had debug mode on, but I turned it off now. It was my fault all along. Just like most things that happen in this game. I always complain about the fact that the AI is not going historical. My brother in Christ, you set the game to non-historical. Now our leader is a backroom windbag. I don't know what that means. That sounds like an insult. If I was called a backroom windbag by someone in public, I'd probably assault them. Goring assumed. 
assumes leadership. But I guess this means that Germany's staying fascist, which is good for us. Don't you love consumer good factory? I never mind, Germany's going into a civil war. <laughs> oh my, three factions. Oh, we have strikes. I didn't even notice. God damn. And I can't even invite investors because none of them are authoritarian. Ergo, the same thing as me. This is going worse than the Tanzania game. I didn't even know that was possible. Oh, it's because we didn't demobilize our economy. Damn, they never bitch about that. What? I just don't want to do consumer goods, man. All right, let's turn to fascism. <laughs> We're the kingdom of Kenya now. And now before Germany dies, I'm going to invite their investors real quick. That's the only purpose I need them for. They can die if they want. Actually, I'm not going to have a fascist faction to join after this because God knows Italy isn't going to make one. The Thunder Dragon Empire joined a greater East Co the Thunder Dragon Empire joined the Greater East Co-Equity Sphere. The devil shivered when I read that sentence. And definitely not because I was mispronouncing that faction name for like the 10th time. The Greater East Asian Co-Prosperity Sphere. There, it's not that hard. I, I just, I can't do, I can't take this shit no more. Three of our civs are used for consumer goods? You've got to be shitting me. Yeah, we're going back to partial mobilization. Okay, so German Reich is going to win actually. That's actually surprising. All right, so now we'll be able to pair drop friends. Oh yeah, that's right. Since the German Reich was in a civil, they don't have a... Ugh. I'm going to flip a shit. Alright, we now have ideological fanaticism, which is good. We love having our people brainwashed. The Hellenic National Union declared war on... Honestly, Greece, like, hats off to you. You're about to die. You're about to fight the combined force of Turkey, Romania, France, Britain. Oh wait, with ideological fanaticism, we can actually create a faction now. Okay, I'm gonna improve relations with Germany real quick and see if I can form a faction with them. Dublin falls to Australia. Australian troops. Amazing news. Holy shit, they weren't kidding. All right, let's create a faction with Germany. Let's call it the Nairobi Berlin Axis. And apparently we can invite the Tardom of Bulgaria. So I guess we'll do that. Okay, so now I'm just going to train a bit more troops to defend these fronts. Because God knows the British are going to send their entire army to kill the mastermind of the Axis here. Mexican entry into the Nairobi Berlin Axis. Yeah, sure. They're probably going to drag us into war with the United States. Jesus, Greece. Invaded by Bulgaria, the UK, and Turkey all at once. Oh, sorry. And South Africa for some reason. Wait, huh? Okay. So I'm going to start justifying on France here. The integral state of Brazil dissolves its factions. Maybe they can join... Oh, uh, I, I'm sorry, integralist Brazil. I know we agree on quite a few things, but I, I'm going to have to let you die here. Actually, before I declare war on France, I just realized I need I, I need more fighters, not a rock. This is a sad day for all Brazilians, including me, and I'm not even Brazilian. Okay, so I time traveled a bit behind because I realized that they lost this spirit. And yes, I am aware this is very meta game, but uh, shut up. I want to do this. Wait, are you shitting me? Do they lose the spirit as soon as we finish justification on them? Okay, so I managed to get it now, except I don't think we we're gonna get air superiority because we only have one plane in every region. Okay, I'm starting to get a migraine, so I'm gonna come back tomorrow and then we're probably gonna be able to do, hopefully, the airdrop. All right, so I'm back the next day. Uh, let's kill France. Fuck France. All my homies hate France. Okay, so now, our paradroppers are there, they still have this shit, and I think we're gonna get air supremacy for even one second. So now, we should be able to kill France. Okay, so I fucked it up, so I'm gonna try again, but this I'm gonna reformat it a bit. Alright, fuck it, you know what? I'm gonna play from 1938 to build up more fighters and try this again. Th I'm that desperate at this point. Oh shit, the Axis came back this time. Okay, wait, I'm just gonna join the Axis then. Wait, where did those divisions go last time? Now they have 131. Did they all get like encircled somewhere? What, like, what happened? Okay. 
So I have tried this, I'm not kidding, a dozen times at least, and nothing I do is working because like, our paratroopers just aren't good enough to capture Paris, and so I, I've just given up on the, the pair drop strat. Instead, what we're gonna do is, look at these lines, look at these French lines, that looks very poorly defended. I think we can just knock them out and get enough war score. Like, what if I just pair drop here and like, encircled these French divisions at the border? Okay, so I'm gonna declare war and then immediately call these guys in and also immediately execute this plan here. I'm just gonna try to march to Paris here with the support of the Germans. Oh, they abandoned Paris. Okay, we'll walk into it. German troops entering Paris. This always happens. This revisionist history. It was Kenyan troops, okay? And France is dead and what is this? I guess they fought the French for longer so they get most- of that's bullshit though. Alright, well this was much simpler than the pair drop strat. So now we have no airports in the north of France that we can use to go into the UK. So we're killing Belgium. Oh wait, okay, so I requested ownership of North Pas de Calais, and now I have the airport. I like how since Japan owns half of France, Free France can just occupy it because Japan ain't sending troops here. That's amazing, thank you game. All right, yeah, so we get immediately fucked. So that is not good, that is not a good thing. The Bulgarian armed forces enter Istanbul. That is the most threatening picture I've ever seen. Well, at least Italy owns the south of France now. Also, why is Calais our new capital? Oh, that's why. Holy shit. That's not good. I probably should have been paying attention to, you know, my, my core territory, but, you know, it, that's too much to ask of me, apparently. I mean, we're kind of fucked, actually, now that I think about it. My old friend, load game. All right, and we cannot defend for shit as well, apparently. So that that's a good sign. Is this my punishment? For, like something I did. All right, since uh we're kind of not defending well with six soldiers, I guess I'm gonna send my fucking pair droppers down there as well. <laughs> oh, what a terrible army! I'd love to keep playing, but it's already like 3 a.m. and I want to sleep and forget about Kenya as a country. So I'll be back another day. All right, so I'm back for the third day in a row of doing this fucking campaign. And this time, I'm just gonna build up my army because we got absolutely like screwed over by the British, which which is fair. We, we have like a very shit army. So I'm just gonna like build up my army a bit more and then fight France and you know, the allies. Did I load back to the, I've made so many saves that like I've lost track. Did I go back to the shitty Germany timeline? They have no division and they have no fact. Okay, yeah, we're, we're in the shitty Germany timeline. Timeline. I guess it's fine, whatever. This is like Hoi 4, the multiverse of madness. Alright, well, Austria got Angelus, so I guess the world is progressing a bit. Did I just see that Canada declared war on Paraguay? Alright, I'm gonna start justifying on France once again. This time we have somewhat more of an army. It's still pathetic, but I just want to, like, hold this line a bit. Alright, so let's declare the war here. And let's call Germany in immediately. And I can invite Italy to the faction now, that's good. Okay, so Paris has fallen already. That's good, that's good. And for now, we're somewhat making progress down here as well. Somewhat. What? What happened? What is this? Did Italian East Africa not protect this front? What is this? All right, well, uh, damn. I don't think I've ever reloaded a save so many times in one video, and I'm the master of reloading saves. I, I invented reloading saves. Even I have never reloaded so many saves to form East Africa of all nations. I'm gonna declare war on France once again. This time, I'll just call Germany in. Because if I call Italy in, they're gonna let the UK go crazy here. So I'm not gonna let that happen one more time. Once I invite Italy, they better not join immediately because God and Mussolini know that this is gonna screw up. Oh my God, they're letting it happen again. Oh great, now this time Belgium joined the fray. God, going to war with the allies as a minor nation is just such a pain. This is probably like what they make prisoners do at Guantanamo Bay. They just force them to play a minor nation against the fucking allies. I'm gonna snake my way to Leopoldville. That's probably, that should work, I think. Okay, so this time... <laughs> I'm gonna declare war, and this time, I'm not gonna invite Italy yet, because every time, they throw. Alright, this time, Italy's asking to join. They better have this front covered, but just in case, I'm gonna save the game. Alright, let's get them in here. Hopefully, I don't see a giant- Oh, they have nothing there. Who could have seen this one coming? Alright, I guess we'll quickly cover it with her fucking para-droppers. 
Literally the worst idea ever, but it's all I have, man. Isn't it nice how the UK sending two tanks to defend Tanzania? That's amazing. Thank you, UK. Oh, sorry. Four tanks. I didn't see these two. Ah... Uh... Okay, this time Belgium joined a little Entente, which is good. We don't have another front to deal with this time. However, this still exists, so that's not good. The Franco-British Union? Huh? Oh my god, they're finally sending reinforcements here. I can invite the United Arab Republic. Oh, that's pretty good actually, right? I hope? I think? Alright, welcome to the Nairobi Berlin Axis. Okay, so the little Entente is dead. Uh, okay, that's interesting. So now Germany owns the Congo. What do you mean we don't need more foreign manpower? What? Huh? Am I losing it? Is that like, am I, am I beginning to hallucinate? Is that what's happening? I wouldn't be surprised if this game did that to me. The state of Paraguay joined the greater East Asian co-prosperity sphere. Holy shit. I said that in one try. Fucking incredible. How did I say that? Through my hatred of playing this country, I have evolved. I love the Nairobi Berlin axis headed by Mussolini for some reason. Why does this picture in Road to 56 look like a potato? Yo, we have Poland on our side now. Okay, so I took control of Normandy, so I have a little more factories to work with. Alright, Turkey's dead, so that's good, I guess. I mean, I just want, I really want the UK to die really. Oh shit, Italy? Oh, oh, Italy popping off? They're actually doing something? They better actually capitalize on this. Oh my god, they're gonna lose. They're gonna lose. These buffoons. Okay, I don't like Italy anymore. <laughs> Strikes. <laughs> Strikes. <laughs> uh, strikes. <laughs> oh, my brain is slowly rotting playing this country. This series was like the worst mistake ever. We're at war with the Soviet Union now? When did this happen? Oh my god, what a mess. Oh no. What is this? Oh no. Oh, two naval invade. Oh, amazing. Wow. Nationalist Spain joins. <laughs> All right, I have a plan. I'm gonna declare war on Portugal, Spain kills Portugal, and I send troops to Portuguese Africa, and then invade from there. Doesn't that sound genius? Probably not, but we'll see. Alright, now Portugal should die very soon, I think. Alright, Portugal lost, but they didn't lose their Africa. I am- I- I don't know how I'm gonna win this war. <laughs> At least the Soviet Union's falling apart, so that's good. The third Bulgarian Empire. Was this really necessary? That's my reaction. The only thing that's necessary right now is East Africa, and it, it doesn't seem to be happening. Jesus, what happened here? Why is the mock leak so big? Nuclear bombs. Oh, wow. The war in Russia is finally over. Oh, that's a big China. Holy shit. They own all of Indonesia, too. This is a cursed ass map. Jesus. Benito Mussolini is deposed. The Indian People's Republic joins the Pakistani bloc. That is somehow the most cursed sentence I've read this entire game. Also, while reading that, I just glanced at the side of the screen just uh I, I i don't want my eyes to be right and my suspicions to be correct but does china yeah okay china owns greece okay fantastic oh and hungary as well i, I want to go to sleep man i just i can't i i, I just can't oh no <laughs> Oh no. Is this the civil war? <laughs> Franco-British Italy? It's just in si Oh, we have nothing to worry about. Okay. Wait, what? Socialist Republic of Italy is a Reich's protectorate of- po What? I'm so confused. Wait, who's the leader then? Is it- Oh, it's Germany now, but- How did- Poland puppet Italy. What? Oh shit. Someone nuked before me. The United States of America declared war on Swedish Denmark. Thank you, Truman. Is it Truman? Yeah, thank you, Truman. Oh, great. Now the rest of our faction has a war with the United States. All right, I don't know where their airports are, but I'm going to start nuking. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do the most scummy thing ever because of how this game has treated me. I think it's, it's balanced. I'm going to Google where their airports are. I, I have three nukes, and I know exactly where to drop them. Here, here, and here. We'll see if that's enough. All right. And we only have 61.5. God damn it. I'm going to continue this tomorrow. This is going to be a four-nighter. Jesus, this video is not going to come out on time. Fucking hell. All right, folks. Day four. Give it up for day four. <laughs> I've been playing this shitty country for four days. Yeah, that's kind of mean. I don't think Kenya is shitty. I just think I'm going through my Joker arc this video. I mean, slowly but surely, their air force is becoming smaller because I keep nuking their airports, but I don't know. This is like a battle of time, really. Damn, the US ain't fucking around. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, oh, I didn't even notice this one. Yeah, troops are landing, but like, they're just too strong. The landings do not last long. How are we going to defeat them? Genuinely. <laughs> 
All right, we've made a landing. I do not think it's gonna last because we did not get a port. All right, well, that didn't go well as I expected. Okay, uh, we'll retry, we'll retry. Imagine this works. Okay, so it, it didn't. I genuinely do not know how I'm gonna do this. Please, 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 please. No, no, please, 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 please. I beg, I beg, I beg. This is probably not gonna work. Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, oh, we're goaded. We're goaded. Go with the sauce. Why are they still fighting? There's no one. Okay, okay, okay. We got a landing. How long is this gonna last? I don't know. All of our allies are too busy to deal for bullshit right now. So we're gonna have to end this ourselves. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, they're starting to fall apart a bit. This is the revenge of Kenya. Yes! 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 Oh my god, yes. Holy shit. Alright, we can do it. We need this. We need this. I'm gonna take Johor for their resources. I mean, I guess for roleplay purposes, we're gonna take, like, more of Africa. Alright, peace conference is over. We got London. <laughs> Most of half of Africa, I guess. The lower half of Africa. We got Madagascar. We got these provinces with really good resources. Uh, this one was so expensive, no one can take it, so I guess British Malaya still owns it. And now we can finally form East Africa. Oh my god, the East African Empire at last. Wow, there's the East African Federation as well. I'm not doing that shit. And now we are at war with the United... Well, I'm not, but I'm gonna join the war on the United States and then we're gonna kill them. Before going on to the United States, I'm gonna finish these two side quests here, Burundi and Rwanda. What Waruhu Matenge proclaims the East African Empire. I like how his name kind of sounds like Wario. Not really. I'm, I'm just saying that, but it kind of does. If you like squeeze your eyes just a bit and then smash your skull in with a hammer you can kind of see like you know where i'm it looks like yeah. wario kind all right let's justify on burundi real quick and kill them the what the pakistani block where's pakistan i don't i guess just because it's called the pakistani block doesn't mean they're a leader right who is the lead is it india it is india no not the union of red dragon isn't that like bhutan's communist name it is <gasps> why is bhutan so big they took over tibet like this is isn't this a great map by the way oh yeah look at this look <laughs> oh man oh that's just great to look at polish burma and we'll justify on rwanda as well all right let's kill rwanda all right now that india has decided to involve themselves they're not okay they have a lot of divisions but are those divisions good my goodness that's a long sweden jesus christ the u.s is at war with like the rest of the world why does nationalist spain own busan what oh wait los angeles fell oh we're pushing well i'm not pushing they're pushing maybe we should send some troops there actually to, you know take some of the credit the national republic of poland declared war in the kingdom of iraq can't iraq get a break man come on truman is never recovering from this encirclement look at how much the front has advanced thanks to our intervention kenya is the secret superpower i expected better from you truman to be honest truman i am sorely disappointed come to my my office after class all right let's march into washington washington is east africa well in germany occupies it but east africa took it i don't know why mexico is letting me occupy so much of their occupied territory but i appreciate it i honestly deserve it all right the end of the u.s should be pretty nigh at this point in fact i'm surprised they haven't capitulated yet all right we've taken chicago the funny crime syndicate city and the united states are done holy shit okay they weren't the only major that's surprising oh japan okay Okay, that explains it. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to do a naval invasion to Japan and hope to God they have no divisions here. If you think about it, our leader is pretty impressive. He's not only like a political, like, you know, like leader, he actually does shit. He's also an admiral. And not only that, he's also a general. This guy is like multi-talented. What a man. You know, you know what's interesting? There's two empires of Brazil and they're both headed by the same guy, Pedro the Third. All right, Canada is dead. The Russian empire joined Nate. <laughs> this is like the Korean war part two. Or I guess this would be part 0 0.5, the prequel. We will take back Korea. All right, another encirclement. All right, let's do a little funny naval invasion, shall we? Seems like there's no resistance, perfect. Finally get goddamn credit. All right, and it's finally done now, goddamn. And peace conference over, and look at that. <laughs> 
we have the south of the US. And now after I kill Indy, I think I'm gonna end this game here. It has been going on for way too long. The Republic of San Marino joined in Nairobi Burla as they should if they want to live. India has a fleet? What? I I've had this guy explain it in the comments of my last video, how Navy works. And I, I read the entire paragraph, but I I'm gonna read it again real quick, okay? Just to try to help me understand this. Okay, this guy's like nice and all. He gives me like compositions of like what kind of fleets for what orders, but I'm too lazy to do that. I, I know I'm sabotaging myself here, but I I I'm a lazy bastard. Okay, some of them launched, so that's good. They actually have provinces garrisoned? Shit. They're taking this war seriously? Fuck, man. All right, second attempt. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for it to turn to 50. Do I have to mine sweep? Maybe that's a thing. They have like a, a lot of mines. All right. Let's nuke these three provinces so that our troops actually land this time. That'd be nice. All right, we've captured the port. This might be the end of India as we know it. I probably should have thought about the fact that there's limited supply here instead of, you know, sending my entire army. Okay, after nuking them like 10 billion times, now we're starting to push a bit. All right, we've taken Delhi. That's good. What an encirclement you found yourself in. As if. Wait, why are we internally fighting against Italian? Did, did I miss something? They declared war on the... A they, did, they betrayed us? All right, it should be done soon. I don't know why India took me so long, to be honest. All right, and they're not the only major. Who the fuck is the other major? The Union of the Red Dragon. Bhutan became a major. They're the final boss of this playthrough, apparently. Okay. I mean, don't I just have to take Punaka and then it's over? I'll just march into there, I guess. God, fighting India took us so long that Bhutan, of all countries, became a major. Fucking Bhutan. All right. Oh my god. I mean, let's take Rwanda and Burundi. Let's take India. All right. Peace treaty is done. We took Argentina. <laughs> we took India and Bhutan. Uh, we also took some of Mongolia. You know, I would consider this a pretty amazing playthrough of East Africa. Like, we have a global empire now. The, the sun never sets on the East African empire. Uh, anyways, yeah, thank you for watching me endure this pain uh, for way too long. It's 1952. I don't think East Africa does deserved a video that goes all the way to 1952 but here we are i have a migraine so i'm gonna go to sleep now uh good night i don't know subscribe if you want i guess i don't know see ya all right it's post editing me here thank you as always for watching the video uh hope you enjoyed this one uh, i know it took a while because uh this this one took four days and i have school and everything so yeah i, I didn't really have time however i this is set to come out by wednesday so if it doesn't come out by wednesday i i will have fucked up somewhere i'm not sure where but anyways thank you to members user one underscore user one flame man 1995 you guys are fucking legends and uh i'm gonna go to sleep now goodbye